On today's news, man was killed by an alligator. Channel 64 News. Destination, location, and map animation. In this video, Jordan's gonna show you how to take any map and animate it here inside of After Effects. This tutorial is gonna show you how to get any map that you want and add any sort of details to that, whether you're looking to do line animations or markers or just highlight a very specific place. So we're gonna head over to Jordan. And before we do that, be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps us out tremendously and let's get started. Today, we're going to be making this globe trotting animation using some nice vector graphics and animated line layers. Before we get started, I just wanted to show you how to get these kinds of vector graphics. All I did was go into a stock footage website like this and search for something like world map infographic. And you can see right here as the first result is the graphic that I chose to use. Once you have a graphic you like, make sure you go into Illustrator and separate all of the elements that you want to animate into their own layers. Check out the link below for one of our other videos showing this process more in depth. Once we have all of our graphics set up the way we want, we can hop back into After Effects with all of our separated elements, make sure that they're all set to continuously rasterize, and now we're ready to start animating. We'll start by adding some titles to our markers and getting our timeline organized for the animation. Our titles aren't going to be anything too fancy, just select the text tool, we'll write out United States for the first marker on our map, then line it up so that it's right underneath of the marker. Next, we'll go up to the rectangle tool, set fill to solid color, we'll set the color to be white like our background, set stroke to none, then click and drag to create a rectangle that goes over our title. We'll put the shape layer underneath of our title layer, then put both of these layers above our first marker on the layer list to keep things organized. Now we'll take all of these layers and offset them on the timeline a bit so that they pop in a tiny bit after the start of the composition. Next, we just need to repeat the process of labeling each marker, making the rectangle shape layer around it, and offsetting the layers a bit further down the timeline until we all have them popping up as the composition goes on. Now that our markers and timing is set up, we're going to animate some lines going between each of the markers on the map. We'll start by selecting the pen tool, make sure fill is set to none, stroke is set to solid color, we'll set the stroke width to around 12, now click right at the point of our first marker, then click right at the point of the second marker and drag to create this nice curve for the line. Now open the line layer you just made, open contents, shape one, stroke one, click the plus button next to dashes twice, set dash to 20 and gap to 15. Now we have this nice dotted line. Take this line layer and put it underneath of the first marker and title on the layer list so that it's not on top of them in the composition. Bring it to where they start on the timeline, then go up to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. For the gradient ramp, we're going to set the start color to be the same color as the first marker and set the end color to be the same as the second. We'll also set the start of ramp to be to the left of the first marker and the end of ramp to be to the right of the second marker. Now you can see the color of our line is changing from the color of one marker to the next as it goes across. Next, we'll animate our line by going to Add, Trim Paths, open the trim paths, set End to 0%, Set a keyframe for start at the beginning of the line layer, move to where the next marker is on the timeline, and set start to 100%. Now the line animates across the map and arrives at the next destination right as the marker appears. Highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease, then we're going to repeat this same process and make lines going between all of the markers on the map and then back to the first. Now we have an animated line charting a path from marker to marker all the way across our map graphic. Creating motion graphics from scratch can be time consuming, just like any other motion project. To help you save time and produce amazing work within minutes, we produce the Motion Graphics Advanced Pack, which contains over 750 templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. You can preview every template before applying, then add it to your project with a click of a button. Then you can quickly change the graphics and colors with the pre-made customization settings and then you have a full graphic complete in under a minute instead of an hour. Lastly, we're going to animate a camera to follow our line animation as it goes across our map graphic. Start by going to Layer, New, Camera, click OK, then open the camera layer, open Transform, and set a keyframe for point of interest as well as position. Next, highlight every layer except for your background. Set them to be 3D layers so that we can do some 3D camera movement. 
Now we're going to start animating, and this part is pretty simple. We'll select the dolly tool and start the composition with the map really zoomed out like this. Then move about halfway to the first marker on the timeline and pan in so that the map fills the screen. We'll make these keyframes easy ease, then open the graph editor tool and pull both sides of the curve to the center to give the camera this nice snappy movement. Now just move to the first marker on the timeline, use the dolly and pan tool to focus the camera on the marker and title, then move to the next marker on the timeline, just pan over to it, and keep going to the next marker and panning to it until you reach the last marker. Then for the final camera movement, instead of panning back to the first marker, we'll highlight the second keyframe where the map is full screen and paste it after our last keyframe so that our composition ends by just showing the whole map again. Now you might notice as you pan through that your camera doesn't quite follow the line very well. To fix this, just take the keyframes on your timeline and tweak them around a bit until the timing of the line fits the animation a bit better. You can be creative here, experiment with the timing and camera movements to make something unique. And now we're done. A really cool map charting infographic animation using animated lines and the camera tool in After Effects. So now you have the destination and the map ready to go, you now can put together your own map animation. So as always, you can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro packs, those links are below. Be sure to hit us up on our Instagram, we have a lot of cool design content on there. And always, be creating.